this is my attempt of a thermosiphon on a uh, chimney pipe that's in between a wood stove and the firebox of a uh, fireplace. The uh, copper tubing is type L, 3 eighths of an inch inside diameter. The bottom tube is the uh, cold water input and the top tube is the hot water output. We're going to see if this works or not. This is a 10 foot roll of tubing. The uh, stove pipe is uh, 19 inches in diameter and because this is a test I didn't really want to spend the $40 on uh, a longer length of copper tubing so I just went with uh, 10 feet to try it out and in the future if it works I'm going to add probably enough copper tubing to uh, cover most stuff if not all of the uh, stove pipe. So my thermosiphon does work. Um, the first time I ran it, the uh, water temperature only uh, rose by 6 degrees Celsius. And the a uh, couple nights later when I ran it again, after uh, making sure I had all the air out of the coil, it was a uh, 12 degrees Celsius rise, and that was in the bottom of the bucket. I don't know what it was at the top. Um, if you're going to do, I think if you're going to do big uh, thermosiphons, you need a tall uh, water column that way to give the uh, water someplace to stratify. Um, another thing I learned is if you're going to do a thermosiphon you want to use uh, reinforced PVC or re reinforced vinyl because regular vinyl like this uh, when it gets hot water flowing through it has a tendency to sag and uh, therefore kink and restricting water flow and all other stuff. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, do some more changes to it. That's why I decided to pull it, do this video real quick. Just to see if I can get some uh, hotter, higher water temperatures out of it. When you're using pipe clamps, one of the things I uh, figured out the hard way is uh, you have 5 8 inch tubing you probably want to get pipe clamp with a size that's bigger than 5 8 otherwise it's a pain to uh, get it to start clamping on the uh, tubing <laughs> 